The Water Research Commission says South Africa may need to consider COVID-19 waste water and water quality surveillance. It says this could offer cost-effective method of understanding the pandemic trends, provide an early warning system and identify hotspots. Desen Naidu from the Water Research Commission joins us now to discuss this. A very good morning to you, Desen. How will this work? Good morning, Jane, uh, and thank you for the opportunity to talk to your, your viewers. Uh, what we're looking at here is an environmental indicator system. So we uh, at community level. So we are detecting the RNA fragments of the virus in the wastewater system. And that gives us a level of understanding of where the hotspots are around the, con uh, the country. And then we can go from there into a triage system into interventions directly in the ground. So if you like, this is the first level macro mapping of the system. Okay, in layman's terms, how does it work? How does it work is we take samples of wastewater, uh, currently from the wastewater treatment plants and eventually into other areas as well. And if we detect the mRNA in that, we then do a bit of detective work around following that upstream to the point where we find where the locations of the highest concentration are. And then from then, the Department of Health teams take over for on the ground interventions. The other thing that we want to do with this, of course, is to map, uh, create a heat map of this around the country. And with this, we're working together with the CSIR. Uh, and that will give us an indication of how our interventions are working in the various areas. So this heat map will give you the concentration all over the country. And then over time, as the interventions get better and better, we should see a cooling down of that heat map. So we are actually following the entire pathway of the life cycle of this pandemic. And would you be able to predict a second wave possibly? Yes, absolutely. Because this is, this is the, the primary reason up front is our, an early warning system, that we have indications of the communities that are currently outside the net, because we've done a lot of testing in this country. It's more than 2 million now. But there are 60 million of us in this country at the moment. So this early warning system then organizes for us to go into the second interventions and the third interventions and however many waves there need to be around this. Yeah. But the bigger part of this, Jade, is to organize for us to have a partnership of networks. So ourselves, together with Salga, are bringing a number of players together the science players on the one side, as well as the local government and the government players and the private sector players on the other side, because we all need to have better knowledge on how to engage in this intervention. If sewage, water, wastewater can give us an indication, paint a picture of, of the hotspots, you should be, I should imagine, learning a lot of quite disturbing stuff about what is being pumped into our rivers, considering that this carries the virus. Absolutely. Uh, and this is uh, the, one of the building blocks. So this is not a sunk cost around the uh, current pandemic, but this is a building block around the observatory system that we eventually want to have around water. And yes, it is giving us all of the indicators that you're talking about. So we know about the chemical pollutants. We're starting to know a lot more about the new emerging organic pollutants that are inside the system all of which we have to deal with because water quality is a high priority and its relationship to human health is absolute. Interesting. Yes, and I do. Thank you. The coronavirus is causing emotional distress to many South Africans. Levels of depression.